Welcome back to another edition of All About Saints. On the 16th of September, we celebrate the feast of two saints who were God's instruments in helping the church find a prudent path between extremes of rigorism and laxity. Today, we will learn about Saint Cornelius who was the Pope from March 251 to his martyrdom in June 253 and St. Cyprian who was a bishop. St. Cyprian was the son of pagan parents. Cyprian lived a virtuous life after being converted to Christianity as an adult. Later, he was one of the early Christian theologians and bishop who led the Christians of North Africa during the period of the persecution from Rome. Upon his execution, he became the first bishop martyr of Africa. Whereas, Saint Cornelius, a Roman priest, was elected after the papacy had been vacant for more than a year following Pope Saint Fabian's martyrdom. When Christian persecution resumed in 253, Cornelius was exiled to Centum Sele, where he died either from hardships or decapitation. He is the patron saint of earache sufferers, domestic animals and cattle. In the 3rd century, the Emperor Decius decided that all who would not give up their Christian faith should be killed. Emperor Decius' persecution gave rise to the greatest pastoral dilemma of the 3rd century. How and whether to reintegrate Christians who had offered pagan sacrifice, regretted it and desired to enter again into the embrace of the Mother Church. Novation held that lapsed Christians were idolaters and were therefore unforgivable. They were to be judged by God alone at death. But Saint Cornelius called for a council of bishops together to settle this dispute. Cornelius sanctioned the milder measures proposed by Saint Cyprian for the restoration to communion after varying forms of penance of those who had fallen during the Decian persecution. Saint Cornelius condemned those confessors who were lax in not demanding penance of these Christians. The policy towards lapsed Christians adopted by Cornelius, with Cyprian support, set the standard for the Catholic theology of a universal church and as a ministry to lifelong sinners as well as saints. Cornelius and Cyprian encouraged each other to lead virtuous, self-sacrificing and loving lives for God. They teach us that this is the greatest gift that one friend can offer to another. Saint Cornelius, pray for us. Saint Cyprian, pray for us.